It's over for Sophia Bush and Grant Hughes. The One Tree Hill alum has filed for divorce after 13 months of marriage, Access Hollywood confirms. Quote, Sophia and Grant were friends for 10 years and bonded during COVID through their love of community service. They continue to run their nonprofit together and remain good friends, a source close to the couple told People magazine. The news comes weeks after Sophia celebrated their one-year wedding anniversary in a now-deleted tribute on Instagram that reads, quote, Today marks 365 days of calling you husband. Best decision of my life. It still feels like this. Ecstatic. Running toward the future, grinning and laughing together. I love you, my favorite. Happy anniversary. The 41-year-old actress married Hugh in June 2022 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, nearly a year after announcing their engagement. This is the Love Victor star's second marriage. She was previously married to her One Tree Hill co-star Chad Michael Murray from 2005 to 2006. Since starring in the hit CW drama, Sophia has become a major activist supporting women's rights, amongst other things. Back in 2019, she chatted with Access Hollywood, Scott Evans, and Kid Hoover about when her priorities shifted. See you, and you've been on many, many times for all your roles. But now I feel like you're shifting to this huge activist part. Was there a turning point for you? You know, it's interesting. I think that I've always felt immensely responsible, having mm -hmm. a privilege uh, of a platform, being on television and working in films, being able to talk about politics, going out and canvassing for candidates. I mean, early days campaigning on President Obama's first election. Yeah. You know, activism has always been part of the core of who I am and the way content is changing, it, it's enabling us to tell bigger stories than just writing an op-ed here or posting essays to my Instagram, which mm -hmm. I do all of the mm -hmm. time. So it's, it's really exciting to take these conversations into a bigger space. We were talking just in, during the break about what it finally feels like to be able to share and talk about oh, it because oh. you've been working on yes. it for so long yes. with people that you really care about and also admire. Very much. What did it feel like finally to be able to press that publish button and know, here uh, we are. Yeah, it's so exciting because we were speaking before we got on the air about how when you're working on you know, a show or making a film, Everybody knows. Right. You know, I just finished this movie with Alana Glazer in the spring in New York, and we were getting paparazzi photographed the whole time <laughs> we were shooting, so people are like, what's the movie about? Right. And with a podcast, you can't tell anyone until they can download it. Mm -hmm. So for the last three months, I've been traveling, researching. I've been in my, you know, USC Annenberg School of Journalism <laughs> lane again. Yeah. I'm like, there's so many people in there. I love that. Uh, and... And I haven't been able to share it with anybody. So finally, I'm like, guess what? I interviewed Gloria Steinem and Katie Couric whoa, whoa, and whoa, Jay whoa, Shetty whoa. and Carol Brown. Brown and yeah. Oh, you came in hot. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Gloria's my first episode. It's fine. Did you freak out? Like, what was the yeah. prep work going in to interview her? Because you can't show up no. like half-stepping. And you don't no. want to really look down at your cards. You want to be conversational, right. but you want to have You want to be like, down. Yeah. what card? Yeah, what card? I'd be Mr. like, Gloria. who me? I didn't need I any prep for this. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I prepped a lot. And especially because Gloria is... She is an idol to me. She is an icon. Uh, luckily, at, at various things, because we're both people who really like to show up. Mm -hmm. We've met each other and, and been together over the years. But her giving me, you know, two hours of her day to come in and really talk. Wait, that's a long time. Yeah. That's also a long time to be talking like an interview. Yeah. But thank God, because it sort of takes the pressure off. If I'd had to watch the clock the whole time, I think I would have been a wreck. So to, to be able to sit with her, I did so much preparation. I went back and watched so many of her interviews, rewatched documentaries, mm -hmm. reread things she's written. And, and then in a way, when you're really prepared, as I like to be, then you have to rein in the fangirl. Totally. Yeah, like, yeah. well, you know, you said once. <laughs> I'm like, I can't quote her exactly because it's going to be creepy. You know, yeah. At a birthday party. <laughs> yeah, no. So I, I, it was nice to have my, my sheets out, but also know that, I knew enough where if the conversation went in any direction, we could be in it together. What's the Tom Hanks story yeah. that we were teasing coming in? Was it a wedding? Where did you get? Okay. Was it a dance party? Okay, so know. there's two. He's such a nice man. So I was asked by your producer. Oh, look how great um, this is. They, she said she'd been going through my Instagram. There it is. And, and Kate Bosworth and I, you know, posted this sort of love letter of admiration to Tom Hanks because we were backstage at the Golden Globes getting ready to go out and present, and we were both petrified. You know, which is ironic because it's literally our job to hit a mark and say lines right. on hard. a teleprompter. But when you're acting, you're in it and you can try things again. At, at an award show, if you screw up, it's over. And so she and I were having a moment and he looked at us and he goes, well, girls, 
He goes, you're here because you were invited, so you've already won. <laughs> and we were like, right. Yes, Mr. Hank. Oh, right. Exactly. And he said, clearly you know what you're doing, or you wouldn't be up on that stage. You both look great. Get out there and have a good time. <laughs> rah, rah. And he walked by, and we were like, did that just happen? <laughs> Tom Thank Hanks? you, Mr. Hanks. Yes. So at, at, not long after that, um, it's a, it's a real thing, I know. Everyone needs that advice from right? Hanks, and now he's playing Mr. Rogers, it's perfect. But not, not long after that, we were at a wedding, and, and we all had a dance party to celebrate, and I'm looking at him and his wife going, you guys are like so in love, so cool, you're so kind, they have it all figured out. I think you've got it all figured out. Congratulations yes, on everything Thank going you. on with you. This is spectacular. Check out Work in Progress, the podcast you don't want to miss. It's out! We can talk about